common control equipment, devices, and symbols. This unit covers relays and switches, their operation, and the symbols that relate to them. All right, first thing is a term called an auxiliary contact. Now, auxiliary contact would be right here. But that's not important. What's important is that there's a symbol for that, and that would be a symbol for an auxiliary contact right there. Would this be, this, this wouldn't be considered, is this a symbol right here, guys? Mm -hmm. Would that be a symbol also? Or is this the symbol right here? Dan, which one do you think is a symbol? This is just the, the actual, well, I guess that's a symbol also, right? Sure. It has to be a symbol. Yeah. This is the physical one. It's either, here's your contacts. Normally open contacts. We'll talk about that. Normally close. And Eric, I think you're the one that made a, a little comment that we kind of like, I don't say brush off, but we said that when you're looking at a ladder diagram or when you're looking at any diagram, you're looking at it under the condition that it is de-energized. Is that what you said? Well, Dennis made that comment. Oh, but yeah, that's a, that's a standard tenet of, of electrical schematics. Everything is de-energized so, or shelf position. Okay. So, again, when I get into detail, other than, hey, there's a term called auxiliary contact. That's what the symbol looks like. All we're doing right now is trying to put together some terms showing you symbols because these are the terms that we're going to be using quite, quite frequently. Steve? Just one comment about that, that the word auxiliary does, means that it's not the main contacts, that it's in addition to the main, which you can also see in this diagram. Okay, I like that. I like that's great stuff you brought out. In other words, there are, there are, which people don't know this yet, but inside this motor starter, there are three main contacts. In other words, this is a switch, isn't it? Yeah. That somehow we're going to close this switch and when we close the switch, the three main contacts are going to take power from line one, and it's going to present power to line to, to terminal one. Power from line two, power goes to terminal two. Line three, power goes to terminal three. And now there's lots of things happening inside here, but the basic concept is this is a switch. And if everything goes right, and there's a coil here that will draw in the contacts, it's going to be done with electromagnetic field. And when that thing gets closed, there are contacts that are auxiliary in addition to the main contacts. And that is your auxiliary set of contacts. And that's what it looks like as a symbol on the wiring diagram. And that is the symbol on the ladder diagram. And by the way, um, this would be the main contact. One, two, three. And this would be the auxiliary contacts. Yeah. And those auxiliaries kind of look like they're just sort of stuck on the side of that starter, which in some cases uh, may, may be the actual. You, you can add more auxiliaries on. So you can add an auxiliary onto an auxiliary? In many cases, mm -hmm. depending on the starter. You can add more blocks on there with more now, auxiliaries. Now, if you add more blocks on there, because the way this works is that if we energize this coil, we're going we're gonna to draw the armature in. And in this case here, we would end up, if we energize this coil, we close main one contact, main two contact, I'm not, we, we call the main contacts one, two, and three will close. We will then provide power to the motor, right? Right. And when we close these mm -hmm. contacts, and like Dennis said, these are shown no power, but if they are powered, then that means that the contact point two and three would close, and contacts point four and five would open. Correct. Because they're going to go into a different mm -hmm. state. My question is, if I add auxiliary contacts to it, do they also react the same way right. that, that whatever, in other words, I could, put a, I could stack another one over here, mm -hmm. and exactly. if you would look at them in the de-energized state, and if it becomes energized, they then, so somehow they're going to be connecting together, but they're going to be, this one coil is going to then continuously affect all the contacts and change their state. Okay? Did a little bit of work here, more than I plan on this particular page, but I like it. So we understand what an auxiliary contact is.